everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the book The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. Um, <laughs> this book kind of gave me House of Leaves vibes. Um, if you know House of Leaves at all, uh, yeah, it had a similar vibe to that, but I would say it's House of Leaves light edition. Um, <laughs> it's not as um, intense as House of Leaves was, but there's definitely that kind of vibe. There's definitely a creepy goriness to the book. Um, it's, it's a horror book. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know how, I don't remember my process of discovering this book. Um, but, <laughs> but somehow I did. It found me, which is good. I've said before, I'm a fan of horror. I like horror. I like thrillers. I like fantasy. I'll pretty much read anything, but I am a fan of those genres in particular. Um, also like romance and relationship fiction. I love relationship fiction. So good. Um, <laughs> see, I told you I'll read anything. Like I'll just keep listing. It's like, that's another genre. So what is this, uh, House of Leaves light book about? <laughs> so the Hollow Places tells the story of Kara who, I mean, her world just pretty much, uh, imploded. Like it, it's, it's a mess. It fell apart. Um, her marriage is ending after quite a while together. I don't remember how long she's been married, but her marriage is just ending and she has to start over and her mother is allowing her to stay with her while the divorce is happening. But, um, they don't really get along that well. There's a lot of like tension between the two. So her uncle actually offers her a place to come and stay. Um, he owns this weird shop museum thing. I think it's more of a museum. He owns this kind of like oddities museum. Uh, and so he said that she can come and help out at the museum and stay there. Like she has a room that she used to spend, I think the summers in, and he says she can stay there and um, she's willing to do work for him. She's going to do an inventory of the museum while she tries to like get her life back together. So she moves there um, and looks forward to working with her uncle. And I believe it's known at that point her uncle also needs surgery. I think it's known then. I don't think it's something that happens. Um, so it's good that she's coming because she can really help him out while he's recovering from surgery and going through surgery. Um, so they're fine with that arrangement. And also while she's there and working, um, she goes to the coffee shop. I think, I think it's right next door. So she goes to the coffee shop next door and she makes friends with the, uh, not the owner, but her brother who does the serving. Um, and they quickly form a friendship and that's good because it's needed later on in the book. <laughs> so while Kara is doing the inventory and her uncle is in the hospital, she discovers this hole in the wall <laughs> and there seems to be a space in there that doesn't match the area of the museum. And so she wants to investigate. And so she brings her new buddy along to go investigate this hole. Again, that's kind of like the House of Leaves things where they discover like, hey, there's this space and it doesn't seem to match any of the rest of the blueprints of the house, but let's go investigate it. And I'm just like, that's that is always a bad sign. Like I've never seen this turn out well for anyone. Um, so they go and investigate the hole. Uh, it seems to be a bunker of sorts. Uh, they actually find a skeleton in there. So someone has died in this bunker and they have no idea where this bunker came from. It doesn't seem to match the specs of the coffee shop and it doesn't seem to match the specs of the museum. So what is this weird bunker? And there's also another door. Now, me personally, I'm not really an adventurer in that sense. Uh, if I adventure, uh, it's usually a very mapped out course. <laughs> and that's how I adventure. Uh, these people are much more adventurous than I am and they decide to go and explore. And when they go through the door, they discover this land with uh, lots of other like water and other bunkers that look exactly the same as this bunker. And 
I believe when they're first exploring, they think that they will know where the bunker is. So they don't do a lot of like marking of the territory. <laughs> they're just like, we're going to go and explore. Um, and it's weird there and they get spooked. Um, they actually discover this bus that's like not the right color and the text font isn't correct. Like it's just a little bit off. Like it looks like our stuff, but different. Um, and when they go inside the bus to explore, they end up getting creeped out. It's like the, the kids are trapped in the seat and they're trying to emerge and I don't know, they get totally scared because it was really creepy. And they end up getting lost and separated from their own bunker um, because of them running in terror. Uh, and a lot of other gruesomely weird stuff happens. And um, yeah, I don't know how much I want to give away, but it turns out that this hole in the wall is an opening to another world, a parallel world or dimension, and they really need to find a way to seal it, to seal off the bad stuff from getting into our world. Um, so one, they have to get back home, and then two, they have to seal it up. Otherwise, really bad stuff is going to happen. Um, and a lot of that is discovered from one of the other bunkers. There was a journal left and it gives little details, but yeah, did manage to get, uh, creepy. It was gruesome at times. It, uh, did keep you on the edge of your seat at times <laughs> and it kept you wondering because what the heck is all this stuff that's happening and how are they going to get out of it? So it was very fast paced. Um, I like that it was fast paced. It kept you right in there with the action and in the book. Um, and I did like it well enough, but I'm, I wouldn't say that it's totally the best or <laughs> awesome in any way. I just thought it was kind of cool. It was a, a nice little jaunt. Um, I would probably rate it more, you know, maybe 3.5 stars, not necessarily a three, although a three is still good, but maybe a little bit higher than a three because it did ke keep me invested and going along with all of the, the journey of the characters. And I, I thought that was good. Um, but it wasn't like stellar. It wasn't like, um, I think I gave house of leaves a four, but sometimes like these portal journey horror books, aren't necessarily my favorite because it's so weird <laughs> and I don't know maybe maybe they're just not my favorite um but I do enjoy them I mean it's not like I don't um yeah I would say if you want to follow along on a creepy gruesome journey that involves parallel worlds and monstrous beings and looking for the way out then definitely give The Hollow Places a read. If you like House of Leaves, maybe give this one a read. It probably won't be as, um, I don't know, intense to you as um, House of Leaves was, but it's still a nice horror genre that um, yeah, keeps you entertained and in there. If you like a little gore and shivery feelings, this is a good choice too. <laughs> I do like my horror books. Yeah. I think that that is all for this video. I don't know that I have much more to say about this book. Um, I just thought it was pretty good. It's pretty interesting. Pretty creepy. Pretty gruesome. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I will see you next time. Bye.